Anyone that opposes Sheamus can be sure all the Celtic Warriors' weapons are ready to fire. The road kick, Irish curse, and a high cross had defeated many a superstar by the looks of things. That's exactly how it's going to stay here in WWE. Well, in these head-to-head -head matchups, you've got no one to rely on but yourself. And that's the way it should be. Two superstars going head-to-head. -head. I love it. But hey, anytime Sheamus is in the ring, his Irish fans are boisterous and expecting good things. Just listen to him. As we watch Sheamus, let's get your take on him. Well, he's the number eight contender in the world, but the question right now is, how can he win this one? Hey, he's a WWE superstar, which means he's among the very best to lace a pair of boots. But does he have what it takes to beat his competition here tonight? That remains to be seen. Nobody's exactly quaking in their boots when they face an eighth-ranked superstar, but he's got all the makings of a great one. I mean, time will tell if he can live up to that potential. And there's the drop kick. And he kicks out with a lateral press here. That's because he's not done yet, Michael. Yeah. He's just playing classic offense here. Yeah, that's when he's the most dangerous. Sheamus starting to weaken some. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this tight. What a match. Well put, and I'm certain he has plenty of fight left in him. Just toying with the competition a little. Well, that's the first time we've seen that move tonight from either locker room. I kind of love it. Uh, just a little too slow there. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh! Trying to put him away. Boy. There's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Oof. Sheamus had no clue what just hit him. Sheamus is a powder cake for a temper king, and we've seen him explode many times with disastrous consequences for whomever is unlucky enough to be standing across the squared circle from him. Yeah, you know what? His temper runs redder than his hair, Michael. The Celtic Warrior is one of the most volatile performers in all of WWE. If he has something to set him off, there's no way to stop him. He is one mean Irishman when you get on his bad side. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Wow, he's still down after that. There's definitely facial damage. I just wonder if anything's broken. Yeah, he's going to have a Roman nose. Going to roam all over his face. You talked about what happens when something sets Sheamus off, King, and the thing about it is it doesn't take much to set him off. Any excuse the Celtic Warrior can find to get himself fired up, he'll find it. He's had some very exciting rivalries over the past few years that only took a second to start, but forever to finish. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Expanding the repertoire with that move. You know, Sheamus really has had some ugly clashes in his career, hasn't he? That's what that temper has gotten him. Just think back to some of the wars he had with Daniel Bryan, Alberto Del Rio, and even Christian and Dolph Ziggler. But hey, the Irish are no stranger to conflict, right? Take cover. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing, a butt whooping. for tuning into this episode of Raw. I'm sure you are just as entertained as we are here at ringside. Hey, he's going for it again. Right to the oh. back of the net. Man, there it is again. This time the finish. There's the cover. Can he do it? I think he's got him. Two, three. He did what he set out to do, and that was win.